This is Jared from Commit Quality, and in today's video, we're going to show you how you can retrieve data from a data layer. If you're watching this video, you probably already know what a data layer is, but if you don't, a quick explanation is it's a JavaScript object that's used to basically pass information from our website to a tag manager container. So this information will then help kind of tag managers understand what's happening on your website so we can kind of properly trigger tags and also collect data for any analytics um, and any other kind of tooling purposes. So let's have a look at this. If I go to commitquality.com practice mock data layer, you can also get to it from practice and scroll down to mock data layer. If I inspect and we go into the script, we can see I have a fake data layer here where I've just got the JavaScript object, which is what we just said it was. And we've got page name, mock data layer. We've got subscribe to commit quality set to true and favorite YouTube channel is set to commit quality. Let's jump into the code and show how we actually access this. So at the moment, all I've done is I've got a basic test, which is going to the web page that we just saw. I want to use page.evaluate, which will give us access to the data layer object, and we can extract that information that we need. Let's set it as a const because it's not going to change, and we'll say data from data layer equals await page.evaluate. And inside here, we want our callback. So let's do that. And all we need to do is return window dot data layer, and it'll do the rest for us. Now, of course, we can uh, modify this line to extract specific data if we need to as well. But at the moment, let's just show the top level data layer, which should return everything. So I can say console.log. Uh, data from data layer is what we called it. If, if I run this test, we should see that um, the data layer our full object will be output. Let's hit enter on that. And here we go. The console log output has the full data layer object, which was what we just saw of page name, subscribe to commit quality, and a favorite YouTube channel. So now then, how do we access that specific data? Well, you've got two options so via documentation. You do it like you would be accessing any value in an array. So let's say const, and we'll just say sub for one equals, and we want data from data layer, and let's use dot notation, and we want to take this one. So that's one simple way, or the other option, we could say const, let's say fave channel. So if your favorite channel is data from data layer, square brackets, and we'll take this key instead, because this is the different one. And now if I do a console.log on those two, and of course, we subbed and favorite channel, if I now rerun this, what we should see is we still got the console.log for the full data layer, but now we should just see the value for um, subscribe to commit quality. We should say true, and we should see favorite channel is commit quality. Let's hit enter on that. We are, so still got the object, and you've got true and commit to quality being output, and it's that easy to access any kind of JavaScript object. So this is kind of scoped to the data layer because that's what we're doing up here, but you can use this page.evaluate to get anything inside that window as well, which is really cool. Now, of course, we can also modify this line like we've done down here. So I could say, if say you had like larger objects, this is quite easy because we have a single object with just key values, but you might have objects inside objects and it might be quite large and you might want to just scope it down. Well, you can do that here. You can say return window dot data layer. And instead I could just put, uh, let's just say page name. So now all this is going to output for me is mock data layer, which means these wouldn't work anymore. Let's comment those out. Let's rerun the test. And now our log should just output page name. Here we go, mock data layer, and that's what's output. And it's nice and easy, it's as simple as that. It's kind of a quick bite session just to show how you can retrieve things from your data layer and also a bit of an insight of how you can just kind of dig into these JavaScript objects. As always, if you do have any questions or comments, please drop them down below. A like and subscribe is massively appreciated. I've also enabled super thanks if you wanna help, help fund the creation of these videos. As always, have a great day.